Hey, it's Kaylin from Travel Yourself and Nova Scotia Explorer.com. Come with me as I explore the eastern shore of Nova Scotia, one of the most untouched parts of the province. Travel Yourself. Of course, the best way to start any road trip is with some delicious food. I got the chicken Caesar wrap, a side salad, a rhubarb, Italian soda, and tea biscuit. So many delicious local greens. This is Martinique Beach, just outside of Muscadabad in Nova Scotia. This is one of the longest white sand beaches in the province and also one of the most beautiful beaches. People come here to surf year round and in the summertime on a hot sunny day, it's a great place to come, hang out on the sand and go for a swim, although the water can be a bit cold. When you drive through East Ship Harbor, make sure that you stop and see Barry Colpitt's house and all of his beautiful folk art and whirly gigs. And if you're lucky, maybe you'll see him as well. <laughs> That's uh, an angel there with a propeller instead of wing. <laughs> and uh, mother cat and little cat. There. Right. Wow, there's so much at once. I am now at Memory Lane, a 1940s heritage village. That's right, everything here is like it was back in the 1940s, even the clothes the people wear.
Here at Memory Lane, they can also organize a few activities for you. And one of them is to go clam digging here in Clam Harbor with a local clam fisherman. You also get to try steamed clams and they give you this awesome bumper sticker. Today I am out in Clam Harbor, Nova Scotia with Darcy Baker who is a fifth generation clam fisherman and he's going to show me how to fish or dig clams. between your prongs, but you try a little bit, wiggle it down, pull back. Ah, it's <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh, it's a pretty good size. Yeah. Uh, make sure you put the holes between your diggers so you don't crack any, at least try not to crack any. <laughs> Oh, clam hole. And this is where you measure two inches so that you know you have the right size. And then here's a bucket of clams. Darcy dug that in about 10, 20 minutes. One of them is mine. All right, so I made it back to land after trying clam digging for the first time. The hardest part was actually getting to the spot where you dig for the clams. We probably walked about a kilometer that way in some very sticky mud, but also some flat spots and through the water to get to the best spot. It was a very fun experience, but it is not easy to do. A lot of hard work for a small reward, but they're so delicious. If you're in the area, you also can't miss a visit to Clam Harbor Beach, another perfect destination to go surfing in Nova Scotia. These are fresh clams that have been steamed. They were just caught here in Clam Harbor yesterday. And we have some butter and vinegar on the side. And it just should peel right off. There we go, that one was better.
I am now in the Taylor Head Park, which is said to be one of the most beautiful parks in the area and here on the eastern shore. It's kind of a point that goes right out into the ocean, so there's a bunch of beautiful coastline and beaches to explore here. There are several different hikes that you can take. One of them is over five hours, however, I'm doing the shortest one, which is about 45 minutes to an hour. It is overcast today, but it is still hot out. This is a beautiful day to come to Taylor Head Park for a hike. A must visit in the Sheet Harbor area is to Sober Island Brewing Co. for a flight of delicious locally craft beer. And if you are hungry, stop in next door to the Henley House Pub for some lovely fish and chips. I am headed further down the eastern shore now and I've reached the Liscom Lodge area. There is a hiking trail that you can take here with a really cool suspension bridge. However, I just saw a note that there are bears in the area and then if you do the hike to go with a friend and I'm traveling solo and I don't want to be eaten by a bear today so I think I might skip that for today but I definitely recommend you come check it out because it's beautiful here. The Hart General Store in Boylston, Nova Scotia, just outside of Guysboro, is a great place to stop on your road trip to grab some pre-made food to heat up in your accommodations or to see some great work by local artisans. They also feature an array of different locally made Nova Scotia food products and also make fresh daily the best sandwiches ever for you to grab and eat on the road or some lovely desserts. The art in this park depicts the Acadians' journey to Nova Scotia and once they were here and how they came to live in Torbay, Nova Scotia.
This is Torbay Provincial Park. It is gorgeous and so secluded. I saw two other people and I'm surprised I even saw that. It's just me, the ocean, and the birds. And the bugs. <laughs> Cheers, and thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.